Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Right now on this podcast, I need you to sit back and relax and try to take in all that I'm going to say in this podcast. I'm on a royal rant today. My name is Eric, and welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. Now you're going to ask me, what's the rant? Well, I got scammed. I got scammed by one of Amazon's products. I'm a writer and I'm going to be honest with you. I had four books published, independently published from Amazon. It's called Kindle Publishing. Three of the books, I mean, they sold well, well, not really well, but I got three books on Amazon on sale and I have the audio books. They're audio books also. Or by Amazon. Amazon has a subsidiary, uh, another company called Audible. It produces uh, audio books. And I got the three books in print, in ebook, and Audible. My fourth book came out back in May. That's in print. That's in hard, uh, not hard copy, but soft cover ebook so I decided to put it as an audible an audiobook which I did um, the producer who I paid to do the book then you know they always give you a, a, a sample and then if you like what what you hear then you t- give them the okay to do the whole book which they did and I got a proof Oh, it's just a copy of the complete work. I let a couple of friends of mine listen to it. And they said to me, you know, the voices in that audio book sounds like it's computerized by AI. So I wrote back to the producer and I asked him, I said, um, are these real actors, human actors, or all, you know, is it computerized? He said, no. These are real people that I have to gather up to get them together, sit, and we did the book. I said, okay. So, being that I had three good experiences with Amazon and Audible, I paid the, paid the guy, or girl, or whatever it is, and went on about my business. Now, before Amazon or Audible placed a book on sale as an audiobook, they have certain rules and regulations that they check out first and then they, you know, place it. Well, anyway, I got an email from the two of them, Amazon and Audible, that it was not acceptable. And the reason was it wasn't acceptable is because they don't allow AI or any mechanical voices, it has to be human. Of course, I wrote back and said that, well, the producer told me it was human. And they wrote back with, you have to go through the regulations of, how you put it, Let's put it this way. To make a long story short, yada, yada, yada. They have, no, they have nothing to do with me getting scammed. Because when I went, they said to me that I had to get with the producer to straighten it out. Well, how can I straighten it out when the producer... Now, everything is done on their system. On system. The Amazon have their own system. And they even tell you, if you're going to deal with a producer, do it through their system. Because that's the only way they can help you out if something like this is supposed to happen. So I wrote back to them. I said, well, I can't get in touch 
with the uh, producer because the producer on his end deleted the all the emails uh, between him and I on their system. I still have the emails on my system, but I what I don't have on on my side of the system is all the all the audio files that he gave me that I paid for. They've been just they've been deleted. Their response is that I should have read the regulations on how what they're looking for to produce an audio book. I, I did. So one part is my fault because they says right there in their uh, what you call it rules and regulations they don't accept AI or mechanical voices. Granted, but then I wrote back and I said, well, listen. I asked the uh, producer, was it he? Well, he lied to me. And then I have to take it to a higher. Put it this way: I had to take it to a higher authority, which is outside Amazon and Audible. Which means that I have to do all this on myself. I have to contact government agencies and all these agencies on my own to get my money back. When I'm looking, I'm thinking, well, it's your product on your system. I went, I did what exactly what you said, but you can't help me. How did you allow the producer to delete the emails on his end? I still got my emails. My emails tells me because it's their system and let you know what the other person did to those emails. And according to their system, the producer deleted his side of the conversation, along with the audio uh, files. So, as you know, of course, yes, I lost some money. I mean, not a great big money, but still. You could say it's a learning curve. But now, I have to think twice on doing business with Amazon I have to think twice either what they're saying is true about getting in touch with the producer and they don't know how to do it because I asked them that's when they say I have to go on the outside it's their system but they want me to go somewhere else to another agency to make the complaint. When I'm making the complaint to Amazon, it's their product. Well, anyway, enough of that. My name is Eric, and you just heard the craziness that lives inside my head.